gave me the uh, checking and routing account numbers there. So just remember, when you're in tight spaces, you're on a plane or sitting near people, what you think is private is not always private. myself real quickly. Any trash I can take for you guys? Nope, I'm good. I don't want to touch this, it's banana. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm John Cilio. I am a, um, a, a professional speaker. I'm going to New Orleans to speak on a, uh, a conference and it's actually on identity theft. Okay. And I was watching you fill out checks and stuff and have account statements. I just wanted to, I, I was just literally sitting here writing down You're about, kidding. no, and I just wanted to tell you to be really careful because there's a lot of it going on in the travel world. People, you know, we're so close and we have little mobile devices and so we can watch over. Really? Yeah, and it's, it's, I just, I had to say something because it's what I do every day and I'm trying to, you know, I had my identity stolen for a, $300,000, so it was, it was hit really hard. And so when I see it happen, where people are at risk, I just like to let them know. Well, thank you very much for telling me this. <laughs> You're welcome. It's kind of embarrassing, but I just, no, it's you know, not. I don't want it to, to continue on, and I don't want you to get hit, and so I thought, no, well, I'll say actually, something. Actually, you know what? I thought what was going through my mind when you pulled out that cell phone, I thought, I wonder whether he took a copy of my check. That's what happens. Yeah. And so what I'm doing is I'm recording the, the, what's going on here so I can take notes to myself like here's what here's what happens people put the a barrier up around them so I'm sitting here taking notes and uh, it happens constantly really yeah you know uh, so that's exactly what I was thinking I went god did he take a picture of my checkbook yeah and I was thinking he could have very well taken so a you did you did have that gut instinct I got you? my gut instinct and I was thinking I wonder where I can find out whether his name I'm going to call my bank and find out well I'll and, give you my business card so really? that you, yeah because I was thinking I'm going to call my bank and tell to be suspicious of anything. See, that, that reaction is so good, and that's what people are, are missing is they they feel the reaction, but you didn't actually end up oh, doing no, anything I right. Read, I, no, I was gonna, I was thinking what, about to adding the, the stewardess what your name was. That's what I was thinking about asking yeah. the stewardess what was the guy's name next to me, and I thought, well, now she's gonna ask me why do I want to know, and wonder whether I can do this, and I was thinking that, and I think, no, you know what, I'm gonna call my banks and tell my banks to watch out. Good for you. So that's what Good I was, for you. That's what I was thinking about. Because I was yeah. thinking, he pulled that cell phone out. Maybe he took a picture of my checking account. So I wanted to see if you would notice that or not, because that's the key indicator when somebody pulls out a phone or something. Thank you so much for Thank you. doing this. Appreciate it. Man, did I learn a lot about the fact that, that people detect this stuff going on, but they don't necessarily do something about it. Next time you feel like something's happening, Ask the question. I'm uncomfortable with you having your phone out around this. Thanks so much. See you for the next privacy tip.